behavior is such an incredible tool to tell us about what is happening with a living organism, whether it's a human being or whether it's the tiniest daphnia. And that's what all of my work is. And all of the people who work in this lab, they're constantly asking the organisms, are you hurting? Tell me, how are you hurting? As uh, Great Lakes science progressed through the 70s and 80s and 90s, uh, chemical analysis became very, very big. Regulators needed numbers. And the only fast way to get numbers was to go out and measure the chemistry. And so this idea of asking the organisms, were they hurting, tended to go by the wayside. And that's where I really felt um, a gap was looming within Great Lakes research. When I started here in 1997, there were no graduate programs, there was no equipment. And so, in fact, you had to make it up as you went along. And I think some of my greatest successes uh, have been when students have seen that necessity, have thrown their lot in with me, and we've actually come up with some great, straightforward experiments. No scientist, no researcher does it on their own. I now have nine volunteers. I have uh, a variety of colleagues that I work intimately with on all environmental uh, problems. Chemists, biologists, uh, urban planner, a social scientist, uh, engineer, and so we then go forward as a transdisciplinary team to solve problems. When the environment is healthy, we human beings will be healthy.